What is going on? It is Trucker from Nothing here. It is a prime orientation day one. Uh, so we're going to go over that. Um, I am in my nice hotel room. Um, I'm going to give you a tour of that real quick. Then we're going to orientation. So you get a nice sink. And uh, for some reason it's not letting me change my camera from back to forward. Uh, you get a nice bathroom, toilet, you know, general stuff. Over here. A nice big king bed, a chase lounge over there. Um, you get an alarm clock, it's over there. Nice big mirror. Uh, let's keep going over. Uh, there's a desk area, mine's a little bit messy. Um, a little dresser, and there's a TV, as you can see. An armor, and you get a microwave, coffee maker, and a fridge. And inside this armor, there's a safe in the bottom. Um, they didn't give me the combination for the safe. I don't need to put in there anyways. So, uh, so let's talk about orientation day one. Ugh, oh, I'm laying in bed. Um, on day one orientation, you are going to do nothing, basically, but uh, the stuff on the computer. <laughs> very, very boring. Um, there's a lot of it. Uh, when you arrive to your hotel room, the first night they gave me a packet I had to fill out, which was a hard copy of my application, and... Um, and the sign up for clearing house, which you'll need to do. Um, if you don't do those things the day that you get here, you're gonna need to do them first thing in the morning. Um, I would just do them when you get here, makes your life easier. They also sent me a list of some computer based stuff that I could do um, the day before. You can do it on your phone, um, it's just listening, um, it's nothing complicated. Uh, I brought a laptop, which you can see over there. It's actually a Chromebook, but, um, so I did it on there, um, first thing in the morning before the shuttle came on, it's, uh, Labor Day weekend, so we actually started on Wednesday, uh, first thing in the morning before the shuttle came, they sent me a long, huge list of things that I had to do, um, still working on those, I have one more left, uh, the videos that you get the first night are, like, pretty short, like, I think the longest one is, like, 12, 13 minutes, um, the new list that they sent us, uh, the shortest videos are like 10-12 minutes. Most of them are like 10-12 minutes long. There are some, a few short ones and a few just forms that you just need to fill out. But, uh, they're few and far between. <laughs> the last video I have right now is actually like 28 minutes long or something like that. Um, and it may vary. If you're doing it in Missouri or Utah, it may be different. I know that the one in Pittston, Pennsylvania, they have a specific section for... Uh, the lantern fly, um, something about how it's an invasive species, so we need to be aware so that we don't track it around places and stuff like that, and if you see them, to squash them, basically. Um, but maybe if you're in Missouri and Utah, maybe they have something else there instead. Um, so, you're gonna have a lot of that to do. If you have a laptop, I'd bring one. Um, you can do the stuff in the hotel. If you have a car, if you're, like, if you, if they say you can drive in, I would drive in. Um, so what happened is you go to there at 6.15, you know, they pick you up 6.15, 6.30 to be brought there. Um, at this location anyways, you can't really just walk from Prime back to your hotel, like you have to wait for a shuttle. Um, and there may be another shuttle, but that the shuttle that brings you to the hotel doesn't pick you up until 4.30. You may be able to request uh, the Prime shuttle to bring you, I don't know, I didn't ask, but uh, yeah, if not, you're just there all day, which I was today, um, which kind of sucks, because I would have loved to have been in my hotel doing them on my laptop that I brought, um, but instead I was stuck there, and there wasn't anything wrong with doing them there, there's just the chairs aren't as comfy, it would have been nice to just, you know, lay in bed, um, my sleep schedule, <laughs> I actually did not sleep at all, uh, I was going on 24 hours, uh, I was actually up for more than 24 hours, by the time I was done there, um, I did take a small nap when I got back, so I'm okay now, um, I had to buy, I bought some, um, sleeping aid pills to help me for tonight to get my sleeping schedule, um, re started to the right time so that I will be good for the rest of the week, <sighs> so hopefully that goes well, um, but anyways, yeah, so your first day is gonna be a lot of that, and hopefully... Uh, trucker simulator. Um, in the Pittston, Pennsylvania location, they only have two simulators, and one of them is actually broken while I'm here. Um, 
So what that means is that uh, if you do not go first and you end up being last on the simulator, it's going to take a while. There's only 10 of us here, but the simulator itself probably takes like an hour and a half to do all five of the modules plus the exam at the end. Um, and there is, and when I say exam, it's more of a driving test. Um, as long as you have good driving habits, you'll be fine. Um, I got a 77. Uh, you need a 60 out of 100 to pass. I got a 77. As long as you pass me, it doesn't matter. But um, I, the best advice I can give to anybody on that is signal early and turn your signal off late. So make sure you're signaling way before you think you need to and then do not turn your signal off until you are completely in your lane. Again, driving straight for at least a few seconds and leave your um, following distance way longer than you think you need them. Um, you know, these are big vehicles, and I wasn't used to that, so of course, you know, in your normal car, you only have like a three or four second following distance, and a vehicle like this, you need closer to like a seven or an eight, almost double, so, you know, that was very odd, so, um, I wouldn't sweat it though, you know, even though I, I made some mistakes, I still easily passed, you know, 17 points over, so, I wouldn't worry about it, um, just take your time, go slow, and you'll be fine, um, it's not to that. Tomorrow, which is day two, we will be doing a, first thing in the morning, we are doing a pre-trip class. So I think we're going to go outside and actually watch somebody else pre-trip a truck. Um, there is a video of this, of already doing it. Um, I, since I worked at AAA, you know, we had to pre-trip our flatbeds every day. So I'm not too concerned with that. I mean, there's a few extra things that I'm going to have to remember to do. And you need to remember the correct way to say it. Um, I'm hoping that the people that do the CDL test will just kind of make it so that the way that you say it isn't as important. Like, for instance, you need to say that um, you're checking XYZ and XYZ reasons. I just hope that you can say the reasons in your own way and not by the book and it'll still be okay. Just because I have a trouble sometimes remembering it like that and, you know, I'm sure... Probably a lot of people do. But, um, so that's that. Uh, cafeteria food was great. Uh, it is cooked on the spot if you order it that way. And you, they say you only get $7.50 for breakfast, $8.50 for dinner, and, and I mean, for lunch and dinner. That is plenty. You do not need any more than that. It is very filling. Uh, they did have steak. If you wanted to get steak, it was gonna, you were gonna have to pay like $2, but it's steak. Um, I, I don't like steak personally, but it's an option that's there for you. Um, the only thing that does suck is that since I had my wife drive me, I don't have my vehicle here. Um, I did have a friend here who I was hoping I was going to be able to ride back and forth with, but unfortunately, <laughs> once he got here, his vehicle now has also broken down, so, uh, that plan kind of backfired, which is my fault. I didn't actually tell him that that was my plan, <laughs> um... So, yeah. But, uh, yes, that's where we are now. Um, food's great. Instructors are super nice. Um, they are not going to hold your hand, though. Um, they're not here to babysit you. They're not going to sit in the room with you while you do, you know, this computer-based learning. Um, if you want to get up, walk around a bit. You know, I probably got up every half hour, so I would stretch my legs, walk around, keep the blood flowing, especially because I was really tired, but, um, but yeah, so, uh, a little fart right there, yeah, um, so anyways, that was that, um, the instructors were all very nice, um, they will help you if you ask questions, they're just not there to handhold you, basically, that was the best way to put it, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that you guys should know from my time there, that was interesting, um, but I think that's about it. Um, you know, make sure you have your paperwork. Make sure it's all done. Um, I would try to get on the simulator early if you can. Not because it really matters what order you go in, but the sooner, that's the part that's going to hold you up. Like, if you are if you end up not doing that, it takes you a while, and now you're waiting for everybody else to go ahead of you. Um, that's what's going to be a hold you up. I mean, the, the CDL, the computer-based learning stuff, you can do on your phone. So you can do that whenever. You know, if you don't get that all done when you're there... You can do it back in your hotel room. You can't do the drug simulator unless you're there, so... 
and then your second day is going to be spent doing the pre-trip stuff and then competing completing either the truck simulator or your computer-based learning stuff so you're better off trying to get on the truck simulator as soon as you can than doing your computer-based learning stuff either in your hotel room or you know, obviously you're going to do some while you're there too but you know finishing up in your hotel room the only thing that sucked about the food situation which I kind of was getting towards um, before, I, before I distracted myself is that the shuttle brings us back at 4.30 um, so if you want to actually have dinner you either need to have it at 4.30 or uh, get stuff there then bring it back and then reheat it you know we have like I said uh, oops sorry um, we have that microwave so you'd have to reheat it later um, I did my truck simulator right at the very end so I actually did not have time to get food from the cafe before I was coming back so um, the hotel in Pittston, PA is actually like you could probably throw a football from our entrance to the entrance to the Walmart so I just walked over there um, grabbed a, a, a few lunch bowls um, some drinks and a uh, frozen dinner that I'm gonna have for tonight um, that's about it um, if you guys have any questions you know feel free to toss them down below I'll do my best to answer them, um, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope that you guys all have a wonderful time, and if this is something you're looking to get into, you know, uh, keep watching, you know, if you're still worried about it. Um, anyways, have a great weekend, uh, and I will talk to you probably not tomorrow, uh, maybe tomorrow, if I get, if I get on the pad tomorrow, I'll have a video, um. If I'm not on the pad, then you will not have a... You'll have, the next video you get will be of me talking about the experience on the pad, basically. Um, anyways, bye for now.